It's the weekly reset, so we're going to find out what is new this week, as well as faction rallies has changed, but it is back, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If you enjoy my content, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. As you guys can see, Faction Rallies is back, and instead of just going into Lost Sectors and shooting stuff, we also have to do public events, and then go into Lost Sectors as well. So, yay. So, it is the Weekly Reset, so we're gonna go over the wonderful milestones first. We have Nescent Dawn, which we need to talk to Anna, uh, Anna and the Braid Tech Futurescape to retrieve a special data module. Then we have Leviathan, which we need to complete the Raid or Raid Lair. That's any of the two. Then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is... The Paramidian. Yay. As for our, our Heroic Strikes, we have Voice Singe, Iron, as well as uh, Heavyweight to start off this week. Then we have Call to Arms, which we win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Clan XP, which we earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and World Activities. This week's Flashpoint is on Mercury, so if you do the heroic versions of this, you can get it done a lot faster. We already went over the Strikes, as well as Faction Rallies is back. And for starters, we need to speak with Dead Orbits. Now, if I'm correct, we have to actually speak to all three uh, factions before we can actually pledge our allegiance to any of them. Also... Be reminded that you can only pledge your allegiance to one faction during the entire faction rallies. And that's not that's one faction per account, not per character. So, the tower has changed a little bit. All these wonderful new banners for faction rally. It actually looks pretty cool. We are actually going to go to test Everest at the Eververse. See what she has this week first. To so, starting with the emotes, we have Hold On, which I might add, I think is a pretty badass mofo emote. I want it! I don't have it. <laughs> then we have Bureaucrat... Uh, <laughs> then we have uh, Bureaucratic Walk. Sorry about that. <laughs> Then we have the Eon Drive for our Sparrow. It's an exotic, which looks terrible. Then we have the Aeos Rapture, which is a ship. And it's specifically for Warlocks. Then we have the Fleet SKA-9 ship. Looks okay, I guess. It's another reskin. Ghost this week, we have the Copperhead Supremacy Shell. It comes with two random rolls. Then for the Armor of the Week, we have Chest Armors. For the Warlock, it gives you one mobility, one resilience, and three recovery. I'm sorry, two recovery. And this is what the chest piece actually looks like. And for our ornaments, we have the Crown Jewels for the um, Crown of Tempests. This is what it looked like. As well as the Tesla's Revenge, which is the ornament for the Wordcliff Coil. Looks pretty badass. I think I have one. As for our wonderful transmat effects, we get gold beams effects as well as solar effects. The shaders for the week are the Vanguard Magnus Gloss. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Then we have Dawn and Dusk. Metro Shift. And last but not least, Cerulean Divide. Then we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, of the Crucible, and the Fireteam Medallion. So, let's work our way up here to the Prismatic Matrix. 
find out what we got this week here. We have the uh, Bursting Wisdom Shell, which is an exotic ghost shell. It's like a little jade ghost shell. Looks pretty cool. Then we also have a Stride to the Edge, which is the ornament for the transversive steps. Pretty much just turns it from blue to like an orangish yellow. That's pretty much about it. Then we have Hunter Boots, Titan Gauntlets, this wonderful Jade Worm ship. I'm not going to pronounce that Roman numeral. Then we also have Awaken the War Mind. The Andes Peak Hunter, Sparrow, wonderful another reskin. Copperhead Supremacy Shells already being sold. Then we have the Sickle uh, Skiff, another wonderful Sparrow that's just a reskin. And then last but not least, we have Shiver. Yep, and... That's all that. So if you guys don't already know, Dead Orbit already won the Faction Rally. And I will show you why in just a second. The traveler hangs above us, creatures hungry for its life. This is the reason. Find us. Graviton Lance. By pledging your allegiance to Dead Orbit, you get the Graviton Lance Earth Catalyst. And if that's probably the best out of all three come, of the uh, Catalyst the for the Faction behind. Rally. So... Dead Orbit already won. May it guide you on whatever path you follow. You Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get these wonderful uh, treasure maps. And this week's treasure maps will be on Mercury. All yours, friend. And I'm broke. I can't get more. <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.